Welcome back to Elsinore. Last episode, we influenced Quince's play so that they put on something that made fun of Polonius. That led Polonius to thinking that everybody saw them as useless and, and pointless. So, following from that, they think, what's the point of all of their loyalty that they've given to old Hamlet and now Claudius, if nobody even respects them at all or cares about them? So it seems like they want to take me and Laertes out of here and just move on from this place. Just drop it all. Stop being loyal to them. That's a thing that immediately happened right before this episode. How that's actually going to play out? I don't know. I want to try to keep my father alive. Because they can't move out with us and take us with them if they're dead. So first thing I want to do is tell them about the king's poison cache. Take care of that problem. Now, I've also told Polonius to be weary of Hamlet. I think those two things should keep them alive in the long term, probably. I do wonder whether they need me to do anything to stop them from getting killed by Hamlet because of the play. Like, the play even specifically mentioned listening in on a conversation, the one between Gertrude and Hamlet. So I wonder, would they even dare do that now that they've heard the play? I don't know, but... It doesn't hurt. Keep them safe just in case. And then now... Now what? Just wait, I guess? This is interesting. It's about 9.30 in the morning on Saturday, which is past the point where the argument would have happened and Hamlet and Gertrude would have died, or Hamlet and Polonius, or whatever combination of people in that room. But I don't think the conversation happened, and nobody died. Nobody is dead. I don't know if I've ever gotten this, this far before without anybody being dead. If nobody's dead, then I may have found an in to advancing the, um, the Lord Fortinbras thing. Because I need nobody to die to complete that. Uh, assuming nobody dies in the future, I guess I should go tell Bernardo about... Um, Lord Fortinbras said that they get arrested. I don't know if it's too late. We'll see. Told Bernardo, they assembled the War Council. War Council decided to go try to capture Lord Fortinbras. So I think they are going to probably be able to capture Fortinbras. At this point, I think I just need to wait. And, I, like, I don't know who might be in danger at this point, so I don't think there's anything I can do right now to save anybody that might die. Who might die? Who might try something? Perhaps... Mm, is the ship plot still gonna happen? Where Hamlet goes in the ship and then dies? I don't know. It's 5.30 in the morning on Sunday. Did they capture Fortinbras? Bernardo? Will they come to me in the morning if they did? I know they come to me eventually. Oh, shit. Hey, fucker. All right. They did get him, just haven't come to me yet. Maybe they'll do that in like an hour. Yeah, right here. Yes. I'm sorry, Ophelia. Wait. I'm sorry to be the w What? 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 Our father is dead. W when? How? It couldn't have been the poison that was poured out. How else did they die? He took his own life? Shit. I know it's not easy to hear it this way. I'm sorry to cause you shock. But I'm searching for answers with all my power right now. I wanted to assure you of that. The key, not that it matters at all. Learns about an event in which father's mind is not well. But that'd be in the past, right? Yeah, where did that take place? Polonius' chambers. So now we know for the future. Like right, pretty much right about at midnight on Sunday morning in this timeline Polonius will kill themselves it's a long event and it's in their chambers 
I need to be there, obviously. Okay, so Fortinbras is going to escape, and then that's how this is going to end. The timeline's probably going to end with Fortinbras invading yet again. I just want to check that there's nothing in the chest. What? Oh, they escaped, right? Damn it. Yep. I know, Bernardo. Yes. Ashes, right? Yep. Okay, I'll wait this out and see what happens. Pretty sure we're gonna die by Fortinbras. Probably very soon. Very, very soon. Uh. Yep. Back to just before the time where Polonius kills themselves. Okay. I am a fool. They despise me. I've given everything I could. Everything. And this is what it's worth? Nothing at all. Is any of this real? Does any of it matter? Or is this all something I missed because it was going really, really quickly? It must be a dream. Yes, all a dream. No. No. No, no, no. Are they going to the wall? It says the events in Polonius's chambers, but it's not. Come on. It's no good. I haven't woken up. Then if they hate me so, if this is to be my life, I want none of it. I care not a whit. Please, let me talk to them first. King Hamlet, that if what you wrote in your notes is true, there's a way to be reborn again to try once more to right these wrongs. Oh, they're already listed as dead. Okay, they jump. Fuck. <sighs> right, well, we've done the bottom four types of plays. So far, every single one results, at least eventually, in somebody's suicide. Let's do Frozen in Time. I have no idea what's that, what that's going to do. Is that going to make us kill ourselves? I mean, like, it's about us. It's not about someone else. <laughs> the goat's song. The goat's song? Hmm. Don't think I've seen what? this one before. Ladies and gentlemen. In the kingdom of a certain Lord Gonzago, there rests a terrible predicament. Every morning he wakes up, and like a good ruler, attends to his duties. Yet every night, when he goes to sleep, he wakes up on the very same day once more. How horrible! The poor king reflects upon his situation. Hmm. I am trapped here, it seems, for worse or for ill doomed to see the same dawn a thousand times or more. Ah. <laughs> that voice. <laughs> what ails you, my lord, my love? <sighs> Fret not, my dear Baptista. I could not make you understand. As the years pass, and yet pass not at all, madness overtakes him. No matter what I try, when I open my eyes again, there my wife lies beside me, as peaceful as a... Why does it sound familiar? Have we seen this before? Unaware of the pain I've suffered, the madness I've endured, caught between life and death. It's a strange performance. Something about an endless day, my love? It's confusing to me as well. Stop. We're yawning ourselves into the grave down here. From where did you find the inspiration for this terrible story? Huh. Why, from the dear Ophelia herself. She came to me and asked me to spin this tale. Ophelia? I see. 
Your Majesties, I merely meant to highlight something fantastical. I think nothing of it. I do worry about the girl's tendencies. She may become hysterical. <coughs> do you think we ought to call a physician? Oh, God. Let's discuss this in private, dearest. Ah, okay, so yeah, what this does, it is all about us, and it makes everybody believe that we're losing our mind. Great. Talk about this in... Ooh. Ooh. What a funny little play you wove for me. And a desperate one at that. <sighs> I find myself both unamused and overtaxed. The worst of both worlds. Now, are you going to return to making a choice, or shall we play this tedious back and forth longer? I don't much care for it, I must admit. Goodbye. If you'll excuse me, I'll take my leave of you now. Wait. I'm not done with you. <laughs> yes, well, I am done with you. Ophelia? Dear? Father. I need you to come with me. Quickly now. <gasps> what is this? What's going on? Do as you will. Oh no. As we discussed earlier, her mind's not well. She needs help. It's what's best for her, Polonius. Don't do this. I'm not delusional, father. Don't do this. I'll ensure she's delivered with all the care my men can provide. We'll watch over her, my lord. Thank you, Bernardo. Father. You're sending me to an asylum? Really? Mm. I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. But everything you've been saying, these visions, I don't want any harm to come to you. It'll only be for a little while, I promise. It's the truth. If you won't believe me, why not just let me go? Please. Give her the, the dwale? I can't bear to see her like this. Ah, Dwayle is an old anesthetic. Come and drink this, my lady. Stay away from me! Ophelia! Don't fight me, please. <sighs> Things will be better on the other side, my love. You'll be safe. Nothing will harm you there. I could use the Book of Fates to embrace madness if I wanted to. Oh, so this is a potential ending. Ooh. What? That, that was a new ending, right? When does the new ending pop up? Because I thought it, like, had an animation. Where it shows the book. Maybe it's now? They thought me insane. I suppose I cannot lay blame with them. It would appear that telling people things they find extremely strange raises the likelihood of me being labeled insane. Perhaps I should observe when this happens and consider who might find the information I know useful rather than disclosing everything to everyone. Hmm. I feel like that's a prompt that they expected to appear a lot earlier in my playthrough, but I've never had it happen until now. I've had people... I've had it say that people think that Ophelia is losing her mind, but usually only like one or two people, and it never resulted in this. I guess because I just didn't go around telling everybody that time is looping and whatnot. Uh, yeah, so... Was it a new ending? Like, where? Survival? Passion? Wait, hold on. There's still four endings that have not been discovered. One, two, three... Four. What? It said I could use the Book of Fates to return here. What do you mean? Right, so that just leaves one category of play left to do. A spy in Elsinore. I believe there's an assassin embedded into the members of the court trying to have me killed. The traitor of Spain. Hmm. Don't think we've seen this one before. Blah, blah, blah. Ladies and gentlemen. 
Whoops, I skipped a piece of dialogue. Uh, our tale begins in the sunburnt city of Granada, where Queen Isabella and King Ferdinand wage war on the fearsome King Lucianus, even as Lucianus' country slides backwards into despair. My lord Lucianus, the people are unhappy. What will you do? <laughs> I care not. <laughs> oh, my lord, it will come to bite you in the end. Now then. The king rules with God given might, but there are thieves and liars in his court, and even worse. A spy in his midst, leaking information to his enemies. Oh. My lord, I love you with all my heart. Ooh. And I will make you my queen, fair lady, if you answer me this. Where do you go each night? Ah. Merely to walk in the cold moonlight a while. Such drama. Even now, this traitorous woman claims to love her king, yet plots to slit his throat. <sighs> I love my king, but my country hates him so. Surely another ruler could do better, wiser, stronger. And on the night before Lucianus is to attack, she slips a dagger between his shoulders, thus sending all those who ever trusted her to ruin. Think of how different the world might have been had this girl not taken it upon herself to destroy a nation. Hamlet? What are you doing? What? What do you mean? Playmaster. I think we've had enough of this play. It's troubling the tenderer ones amongst us, myself included. As you wish, my lady. I think the whole thing's terrible. Terrible and strange. Lady Brit now believes that Hamlet believes that Brit is a spy. To play targets an assassin. That's it. So, what do we do with this? Haha. <laughs> A clever little play to put on. To wit, it sends Lady Brigitte scrambling. Not that she poses a danger to you anymore. That's a little cruel of you, don't you think? I was curious. I see. You are curious like a small child holding two halves of an insect between their pinched fingers. Pulling until the insides spill out. Yes. Cruel, but ignorant of that cruelty. I'm not ignorant. I'm trying to do everything in my power to find a way around you. Uh, uh, uh. And innocent people are the collateral? Isn't that the very thing you stood against? Don't misunderstand me. I didn't come to insult you. I'm so very pleased to see you doing these sorts of things. Hmm. It's a funny thing, that play. I edited the timeline, for your benefit, I might add, by telling Lady Brit just one little thing. She and Fortinbras both believe that by eliminating you, Laertes would be driven to seize the throne and Claudius would fall. Insignificant. But the truth of the matter is, your death is inconsequential. No matter if you're dead or alive, it all crumbles regardless. And by proxy, your very life itself matters not. Until now, you've had such great care for these little humans and their lives. Even after, you were nothing to them, after all. So play on, Ophelia. Play all you like. I'll be watching with a smile. Okay, there's an event where Brit is talking to Hamlet about the play. I've been asking myself the same question. That's in reply to... What was that play about, Hamlet? Were you upset by it? In a number of ways, yes. Listen. Meet me at midnight. There's something I want to discuss. But this courtyard is neither the time nor the place. <laughs> then I have just the place in mind. My personal chambers are far from the king's ears. Perfect. 
when I'm done attending to the queen, I'll come see you. Oh, this is very interesting. This might lead to a potential alliance between between Brit and Hamlet. Right? Because, like, this could lead to a deal where Hamlet wants to kill Claudius and Brit wants Claudius gone and somebody else to rule. So maybe they make a deal where everybody wins. I see this going good places. Or productive places, at least. Enough about the play. I ought to have Quince expelled from Elsinore for changing the script I wrote. What? So you didn't write that script? No. Someone else changed the bloody play. All this after Quince and I had an agreement. Is that what you came here to ask me about? You look white with rage. N no. No. It's nothing. Brit. Why are you shaking so? Do you know something about the spy's identity? I think we all do. Now no one will disturb us. Hamlet, we should leave. Now. In a moment, I want to understand first. Hamlet? Hold your tongue if you value your life. So it's true. So it is you. You're the spy. And here I thought you were at Elsinore to serve my mother. You bitch. You're as much a liar as everyone else in this castle. Oh boy. All right. I warned you. Ophelia was right. You should have run. But you never could listen to anyone, could you? Poor idiot. You. You orchestrated that performance somehow, didn't you? I'm sorry. Ugh. For what? I know you wouldn't be doing this unless you felt you had no other choice. Doing this? H how? You're about to kill me. I don't blame you. But you know you're being used. By your father. By Fortinbras. Stop. Don't act as though you know me. You don't know a damn thing about what I've been through. She's wrong. I know exactly what she's been through, but that's not enough to save her. If I didn't go to that event, would Brit still come for me? Would they just hunt me down and then kill me? Probably. Well, that's all the variations of the play that Quince can put on. I'm going to start just poking around now. I haven't told that many people about the King's Poison Cache before. I think maybe just Bernardo and Polonius. M maybe Hamlet as well. So let me see how many people I can tell, because that seems like an explosive thing that could lead to new things. Let's start with Gertrude. My... Oh. Faith, what are you saying, Ophelia? Poison? For what purpose? I... I think the king may plan to use it to eliminate Hamlet. I'm sorry. I understand this must be difficult to hear. But if you can stop him, then your son will be safe. I don't know whether to believe you, but I have a key to my husband's chambers. At the very least, I can look around and see what I might find the next time he departs. I pray I don't find anything. I truly do. What's that scent? Such a strange, familiar smell. This face. What's this? There's something in the bottom. A vial. What? What is... Oh... Claudius. This can't be. But it reeks of hemlock. He wouldn't. Is this... Did he use it on... Hamlet? No one must have this. Least of all him. How could I have been so blind? We 
and Gertrude now believes that King Hamlet was murdered, and the king's poison stash has been emptied. I assume, I assume Gertrude is going to come to talk to us about what they found, because I think everybody's done that immediately after. Yeah. Yep, here we go. Ophelia. I found the poison you described. I wish that I had not. My lady. I felt you needed to see it. Deep down, I knew. His death. There were whispers after Hamlet died, of the way his body looked, the suddenness of it. There are no poisonous snakes in Denmark, Ophelia. But I turned away from it all. I didn't want to know. Even then I realized the truth. There are no good men. We women see the wickedness in their hearts, and we ignore it out of love. That snake. I will deal with my husband. I will smite this wickedness by my own hand. I owe him that much. Learn about a future event in which the queen confronts Claudius about her husband's death. This should be very interesting. Very interesting. I have no idea where uh, where this is going. Yeah, that's happening in just a minute. In Claudius' chambers, so... Here we go. <laughs> Acting all suave, like, ooh, what is this, a booty call? What calls you to me, love? It's been a week or so since we had time together like this, alone. Fuck off. Yes. You've been rather involved, haven't you? <laughs> Shall we make the beast with two backs? <laughs> I know. I know what you did to him. There's a larger story here, Gerda. Please. Ugh. I let you lie to me because I wanted to believe you so badly. You were a good child, and I thought you could learn to be a good man, but I should have known. That darkness has always been within you, hasn't it? You were always going to hurt someone someday. I watched you even then, and I saw it. Perhaps I could have loved you still. Had you been honest with me. How could you? But covering your deed was one step further. You brought a lie into our marriage so deep and so wide it created an uncrossable chasm. And now that chasm calls out for blood. Gertrude. You know how cruel he was to me. How my father hated me. You knew. All I ever wanted was to be free of them. And you helped me see that. You don't think I understand that? I was married to him, you coward. But murder, brutal murder? That was wrong. You took my family away from me. You tore me from my son, my son from his father. No. It's not the Lord you need to repent to, it's me. And I will not forgive you. My love. Please, let's discuss this. Hell yeah, get him, Gertrude. You are avenged, Hamlet. I'm so sorry. King Claudius dies. Queen Gertrude becomes upset, but will recover overnight. Are we on the first day still? Yeah, wow. So you can get Claudius out of the picture in just a matter of hours. Like, before dinner time, you can get Claudius dealt with. This is very interesting. I, I'm trying to think of how I could use this. Where is this going to go? Could this lead to something different? I mean, it could lead to Hamlet trying to take rule, but we kind of already did that. You know? Like, the whole advise me on how I should be a ruler in the future. Hopefully I'll win the vote. Alright, so here's what's going on. I kind of messed up that timeline 
by making a mistake. Um, so this was after the king had been killed. I figured I should get together with Hamlet, see if we can be happily together without our, without my brother or father being exiled. <laughs> but I kind of messed up the getting back together thing because I skipped past dialogue really fast and I thought we were waiting for Hamlet to come to us, but they were waiting for us to come to them to an event that I missed. So yeah, we weren't going to get back together because they think that we stiffed them. Um, so I just reset it. And on top of actually meeting Hamlet, I also want to try something else. Something that I did, tried to do, in the last timeline that we were just at, is I'm trying to figure out if I can capture Lord Fortinbras after somebody has already died. Because we just need to make sure that nobody dies after Fortinbras has been captured, so that nobody can distract from like guarding them and whatnot. So I figure if somebody dies beforehand, that's probably fine, right? We can capture Fortinbras kind of late-ish. But the problem is, if the king isn't alive, we can't call a war council. So like you present it to Bernardo or Polonius or whatever, and they say, sure, let me make a war council. And then you check the events and it says impossible event or unlikely or whatever, because there's no king to be at the council. So... What I'm trying right now is I've told Polonius about the hideout, so they have called for a war council coming up here. I'm thinking, what if, what if I get, uh, nobody can die. Nobody can die when um, Fortinbras is in jail, but I really doubt this is going to work, but can I get somebody killed after the war council is assembled, but before Fordenbra is actually taken in into the prison. Because we got a bit of time in the middle, right? So, let's try it. Okay, no, the timing doesn't work out. Uh, Gertrude searches Claudius' chambers at the same time that Lord Fortinbra is captured. So at this point, Gertrude is going to kill Claudius and... Fortinbra is already in jail, so they're just going to get out immediately. I forget where I was before the cut, but anyway, Claudius was killed very, very early on because I told Gertrude about the poison stash. I got back, back together with Hamlet, and now I'm basically trying to make Hamlet into a good king that's not going to exile all of us. <laughs> all of my family, anyway. To that end, I've had Laertes stay. I told them about Lady uh, Brigitte, Lady Brockenhus or something like that. I told them about that whole thing so that they would stay. I did the missing loot quest, which I don't... It doesn't make Laertes like Hamlet by any means. I don't even know if it improves their relationship, but it certainly doesn't hurt it. And now I'm trying to have people give advice, better people give advice to Hamlet than I had last time. So I had Lady Brigitte for the first one, and now I'm trying my father, because I don't know what my father's going to say. Let's see. My lord. How's your state of mind? Hmm. Better than it's been in a long time. What can I do for you, sir? Woohoo! It's been a long time since you addressed me with any form of title. Well then. I've come to offer you a little advice. I'm sure other men and women can offer you better words on matters going on outside the castle. Shit. I don't know who the inside and who the outside people are. Oh no. The nobility is a problem you must solve. How you do so is up to you. But I come here to warn you about something more formidable. <sighs> there are always going to be enemies within your own walls. Something I wish your father had known deeply was that any man can be driven by jealousy to commit foul deeds. Rid yourself of enemies at court and you will live harmoniously, young prince. I promise it. <gasps> enemies at court? You mean here in Elsinore? But who would want me dead? I can only... Oh. Yes. You're right, Polonius. I can't believe I was so blind. Of course, it will need to be a purging when I become king. Take great care. 
Anyone within the king's court understands the need for privacy and safety, my lord. None will be offended. Just please don't wait. I wish every day your father were still with us. Had we been more prudent then, he might have been. Thank you for the advice, Polonius. I'll think on it. Okay. Great. Not what I wanted. Let's try Marcellus. We've seen Marcellus drinking with Irma outside the town. So maybe they have some experience with outside Elsinore. Gonna seat the throne after all, huh? Ah, so it would seem. Well, as the oldest serving guard in the castle, I've seen me a lot of trouble in my day. Now all of it stems from those blasted nobles. They're never happy. Weren't with your father, weren't with your uncle. I think it's high time we crushed them beneath our boots. What? You'd have us go to war with them, truly. Yeah. They don't respond to threats, bribery, peace talks, or any other strategy. What's left? To hell with them. All of them. And may Denmark long rule. I see. Thank you, Marcellus. Perhaps there is no way forward with the nobility which involves peace. Perhaps shows of force are all they respect. Uh. That's terrible advice. I expected better of Marcellus. If Brit's family is working with Fortinbras against us, then we've no hope of attacking our own nobility. Not that we'd even want to. I wonder if there's anyone who can encourage Hamlet to form an alliance instead. Is it just Lady Brit? The thing is, when you do Ladies Brit... When you do Ladies Brit? What? When you uh, have Lady Brit give Hamlet advice, the thing, the words they say are good. It's all about forming an alliance and, you know, Olive Branch and all that with the people outside. But then after you're done talking, it says Hamlet now believes that the greatest threat is from within the castle. So I'm like, what? I don't know what to believe. The thing after they finish talking, saying inside or outside is the biggest threat or the actual words that they say. I think it's just Lady Brit that would talk about forming an alliance. Who the hell else would? You know what? Maybe Gertrude can offer good advice. My love. I heard you were looking for advice. I was. Hamlet. I know you still hold me in revulsion. And I cannot change that, nor can I soften your heart. Mother. Actually, mother. I believe I owe you an apology. <gasps> what? I've been devastatingly cruel to you, I'm afraid. I've treated you in ways no son should treat his mother. You are Denmark's dowager queen. For now, we rule together. Mother and son. Mm. Oh, Hamlet. You don't know how long I've desperately wanted to hear you say that. My child... My little love, I'm so sorry. Everything that's transpired. Some moments I think the events of the last few months have all been one terrible dream. Of course. Then think of them that way. I certainly do. <clears throat> you wanted advice. Please excuse me. I saw you escorting Ophelia to your chambers. Ah, a mother. My dear... If there is one good word I can give to you, it is to marry well and marry carefully. The nobles will call a vote to determine whether you may truly be their king when you take the throne. At that time, if they dislike you, it will come to war, or worse. You will be ousted, and all of us will be forced from Elsinore. But if you can select a suitable marriage which appeases the nobility, then such a crisis could be avoided. Oh, I think this is hinting at a Lady Brigitte and Hamlet marriage, isn't it? Luckily, there is one obvious candidate here at court for that very reason. I had hoped to make peace between all parties. Okay, Gertrude was the one to ask. I didn't realize that they also were all about trying to make an alliance. You mean Brit? Yes. If you were to marry Brit, it would be an alliance between Denmark's crown and her nobility. And all would be at peace. I... I don't think I can make that promise. There's someone else. I know. I know you love her, but listen to me. 
In my long years of reign, I have learned but one thing to be forever true. We do not rule for our own desires. Our hearts must live outside us on public display. If you marry Ophelia, peace will be hard won. Brit's family will see it as a rejection of the impending betrothal we had planned. And that will make your work in the future all the more difficult. Out of love, I beg you to reconsider asking for Ophelia's hand and to marry Brit instead. <sighs> I love Ophelia. But I have lived selfishly a long time. I can't live just for myself anymore. Not now. I see. Perhaps you're right. Perhaps there's truth in what you say. I will think on it. I can promise that much. Thank you, Mother. Hmm. I do not say these things to cause you pain, merely to help you be the best king you can be. I love you, Hamlet. Regardless of what I say, I know you'll make a choice all your own and be the wiser for it. Okay, about to have the conversation with Hamlet about how they want to rule. Hamlet, did you just leave your chamber so you could dramatically come back in? They did. Time has come for me to make a decision. Mm-hmm. Gonna skip some of this because we've seen probably most of this. Quickly, frighteningly, not ready to be king. Yeah. My first matter of concern was to understand where the biggest threat to the throne of Denmark lies. Please be outside. Uh-huh. Uh, biggest threat is truly within my own court. I now believe the nobility can wait. Shit. Okay. Does that mean they're probably not going to marry Brit then? I must make a proposal. Ah, something changed, Ophelia. Okay. I mean, if you marry Brit, I guess it doesn't matter whether you think the biggest threat is outside or inside. I mean, whatever. When you asked my mother to speak with me, she was honest with me. So honest it sent me reeling. My mother's advice was that my life is no longer my own. It belongs to my country, and I must use my life in service to improving my countrymen's. As prince, I could marry for love. As king, I must wield marriage as a tool. The marriage I make can improve the world or leave things as they are. So as much as it goes against everything I've ever wanted, I'm choosing to follow Mother's advice. Thank God. I'm going to marry Brit, uniting her powerful family with our house. Do what you must. I am only sorry that our dalliance made your decision all the harder. Never say that. If I could choose my own fate, it's always been you, Ophelia. You know that. When I thought about becoming king, I knew I'd have to learn to put aside the idle dreams I had before. But I always believed I'd marry for love. Putting that dream aside will be the hardest of all. Mm -hmm. Ophelia learns about a future event in which Hamlet chooses Brit as his new queen. Hey, question though, is Brit going to agree to this? And learn about a future event in which Hamlet deals with internal affairs. Okay. The internal affairs thing. I have a I have a feeling that when they believe the greatest threat is inside Elsinore, that's when they deal with internal affairs rather than external affairs and that's what gets her family exiled no matter how good the relationship between them is between Laertes and Hamlet. So I think our family's going to get exiled again. <laughs> Shit. All right, when are they happening? Oh, internal affairs are happening like now. And that's with Laertes. Yep. I think we know it's happening, but let's go watch it happen. Talk to the group. Tell them not to. Yep. Oh, yeah. Okay. Well, I think this is a pretty good place to end the episode. So I hope you've enjoyed so far. And when I return, we are going to see if... Brit accepts Hamlet's marriage proposal.